Sherry, Mario? Thank you. I never drink wine. Long, did you, Jeffrey? No, didn't fire a shot. Never even saw a grouse. Thanks to Father's little helper here. Oh, that Van Helsing thing. I've been reading about it in the papers. That vampire case? Yes, the uh, man who was known as Count Dracula. Rum sort of thing. Seems that this fellow Van Helsing shoved a, a stake through this Dracula fellow's heart. Do you know him, Jeffrey? I studied under him. I owe most of my success to him. What are you going to do? Well, I don't quite know yet. One thing I'm pretty sure of, they won't press the murder charge. They haven't been able to find Dracula's body. Maybe one of his vampire friends flew in and spirited him away. <laughs> well, strangely enough, Van Helsing takes his vampires quite seriously. Why not? Possibly there are more things in heaven and earth than are dreamed of in your psychiatry, Mr. Garth. I'm sure we'd all be interested to know what modern science has to say about vampires. Go on, Jeffrey. But surely you don't believe that preposterous rot, old fellow, what? No, but I believe in Van Helsing. He's gone much deeper into these things than most of us. Perhaps he's taken them too literally. Such researches can easily lead to obsession. You mean like people imagining they're Napoleon? More or less. Like any disease of the mind, it can be cured. All we have to discover is what brought about the obsession in order to affect mental release. Release? Yes, release. Sympathetic treatment will release the human mind from any obsession. I'm, I'm interested in what you've been saying, Mr. Garth. I'm wondering if we might talk about it one evening soon, just you and I. I'd like to. Very much. <laughs>